guys, welcome to a brand new video for climbing tutorials on a one. In this episode, we are going to cover how to put on your harness correctly, how to secure your harness correctly, and how to make sure that your harness isn't damaged in any way. What we have to check for is that our straps and leg restraints aren't frayed, they're not damaged, and make sure that your harness is correctly secure in way of how tight and how loose it is. So check out this video and we hope you learn something. So the harness we're going to be talking about today is the Black Diamond Blizzard. Now, harnesses are harnesses, they don't vary very much from the standard style. Uh, this is the one I own, it's a nice climbing harness. Uh, but as I said, it, the harnesses are the same, this is just the one I own. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is, before we put it on, is check out the straps. Okay, so we want to make sure that any straps that we have on the harness are not frayed in any way. So we want to take a quick look at the front buckle, uh, check that there's no cracks in it, uh, check that there's no damage there, check on the, the actual strap that there's no fraying of any kind uh, around the buckle itself. Uh, once we've checked that, we'll check on the, the carabiner loop, check that there's no fraying on this, and check that there's no fraying uh, on the two loops here, uh, no damage at all there. So once we've checked the the, uh, the waist part of a harness, we have to go down and check out the leg straps. Okay, the harness is held upside down now. The two leg straps, uh, very much the same buckles. Uh, check them, check them out, see if there's no damage. So the first one there, check out if it's got no damage on it. Then check the strap, see that we've got no damage. Go to your other leg strap, do the same thing. And what we're looking for is we're looking for the tiny hairline cracks around the uh, the, the bits where the the, uh, the strap goes. So just in between uh, where my finger is, the loop goes through in here. We want to check that there's no hairline cracks there, because if there is, uh, the buckle can, can snap eventually, and we don't want that. Uh, even more so if it's on the, the waist part of the harness. So once you've done that, we then have to put it on. Okay, so once you've checked your harness that there's no damage on the straps, no fraying of any kind, and no cracks or hairline fractures on the buckles, what you want to do is you want to lay your harness down on the ground. This is probably more for beginners than the guys that have done it before, but the basic thing is to do, lay your harness on the ground with the, the loop facing forward, just stick your left foot in, then your right foot in, and then just bring them up over your ankles, and then just bring it up to our waist. So, once we've got a harness around our waist, what we need to do, uh, we need to bring it high above our hips, okay? We don't want it sitting on our hips, we're not, wearing, we're not wearing trousers here, we're sitting above our hips, so it's kind of going around our stomach. Now, once we've done this, we have our strap here, okay? Pull the strap tight, in some cases it'll be as tight as it goes, as mine does, so it's, it's, it's kind of around your stomach here. With this end, what we're going to do is we want to stick it around the last loop of our buckle. So we want to double it over. Okay, so we're pulling it through the buckle again. This ensures that the harness does not come loose around your waist. Okay, so we're doubling it over. With the excess, you should have loops around your harness. And just to get out of the way, stick a few loops in your harness. It should be on the back. So now, the waist is secured. With the leg straps, What you want to do with the leg straps is the same again. Okay, so make sure they're comfortable around, and they should be sitting just below your buttocks. So just below your butt. Pull them tight again. In some cases, as I said before, it'll be as tight as they go. Make sure it's comfortable, not too tight though, because you still want a free range of movement around your legs. So. 
again with with the strap. Put it through the second lanyard buckle. You put it through this one, and you pull it tight. Then get on your leg, leg strap. You should have a bit to pop it through. Some it'll probably come out again. You just do the same again with your other leg strap. Pull it tight. Buckle here. Pull it tight. And then you put the strap through the second line of your buckle. There you go. Your harness is now secured. So it harness is on, buckles are secure, the top buckle is secure. It's high above your hips. You should be fine. Uh, if you're wearing any garments or clothing, uh, obviously you don't want a jumper, you know, covering like that. It's no use to. You don't want your jumper up here. You want if you if you're climbing, you'll probably have a t-shirt on if it's hot. If you if you're winter climbing, um, you'll have all your jumper and stuff tucked underneath. So when you pop it on, you should have them, you know, underneath the harness, and your harness should be on top. So all buckles are secure. We check for damage. We check the buckles. We've now put the harness on. We're tight. We're secure. We're good to go. In short. This is how we should wear a harness. The waist strap is high above our hips and is actually around our waist. Any garments or clothing we're wearing are tucked underneath the harness and are away from any parts of the harness we may need to get to, i.e. the carabiner loops or any loops we need to get to for any extra gear. The straps for a harness should be tightly secured around the buckles and doubled over on themselves, as shown here. So that brings us to the end of our video on how to properly put on and secure a harness and uh, check that it's not damaged. Do excuse the stomach, I know I've not got the best six pack in the world, uh, but I hope you've learned something from the video and uh, enjoy climbing in the future.